Hello, mixers. If you're like me, keeping flavor notes can be somewhat cumbersome. You know, we're all busy. We all have a life. So in this series, I test the flavors. That way you will have more information. So when you're online ordering all your flavors, you'll have more information. And that way you can make a more educated decision. So let's get right into it. Hey, what's going on everybody? I am John from JFM Development, and here at JFM Development, I aim towards making everybody's life easier who DIYs. I show you how to mix, I help beginners, I flavor test, I share my recipes, I just share my DIY experience with you. No nonsense, so I might better help you or entertain you or what have you. But that's all it's about here. It's just about the community and having fun doing the hobby that I love so much. So, in today's video, we are doing another flavor test. Of course, this is the flavor test series. And today, we are flavor testing Flavora Strawberry Smash. Now, I'm doing some Flavora flavors right now because I want to start using them more. And Flavora flavors, to me, are new. Uh, a lot of the Capella ones I've had or I've used before. But the Flavora ones, I haven't had much experience with. And that's especially why you flavor test. You flavor test so you know how a flavor works, how it interacts with other flavors. You'd flavor test to find out what percentages you mix them at. Now with flavor flavors, they tend to be very strong. Some of them aren't. I just flavor test flavor berry blend and it happened to be one that wasn't as strong. But I wouldn't have known that until I flavor tested it. Now this one, I have a feeling it's going to be very strong because... Before, when I've already tried this on my hand, it tasted very, very concentrated. And if you tasted very concentrated flavors opposed to not so concentrated flavors, you'll kind of have an idea of what I'm talking about. So, before I mix this up, I'm going to taste some on my hand. And there it is. It's super concentrated super strong and almost burns mm. Mm. why do I do this to myself all right so this is a very strong flavor now what I'm tasting from it is a candied God, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to show you exactly what happens behind the scenes. I'm not going to cut this out. I want you guys to see just how strong this stuff is. All right. So what I'm getting from this is a candied strawberry. Almost like if you were, and this is just from off the hand. It might taste different when I vape it. But from off the hand, it tastes like a candied strawberry. Tastes like kind of like a strawberry, like a strawberry hard candy, like a Jolly Rancher. That's the kind of strawberry I'm getting from it. Alright, so that's what I get, and it smells like... It smells very strong. And I might get a little bit of strawberry from it, but again, it's super concentrated, this one. It's unlike a lot of flavors, like, until you've, like, tried Flavora, it's like in another league. And this one, you can taste hints, you can smell hints of strawberry. But on the other hand, it, it's not as, like, convincing it's strawberry, such as, like, flavors like strawberry ripe or sweet strawberry. This one kind of has reminiscence of strawberry. But then it's kind of like, eh. But that's probably because it's so concentrated. So this one I definitely did at 1%. And I am feeling very confident that 1% might even be too much. But I'm feeling confident that I shouldn't have gone over 1%. So I did a 1% solution in VG. And now we're going to test it out. Alright, so as in the other video that I did, I'm not going to waste any time showing you how I mixed it up. I already mixed it up again in a 1% solution. I feel like putting that on camera is pretty useless. 
Unless you guys say something different in the description, I'll change that. Also, I already dripped it on the RDA before I started filming, so it could save a little bit of time. Cheers. Wow. That's a lot more pleasant than I thought it would have been. Wow, guys. All right, so let me tell you. Again, as I was saying before, flavor compared to other flavors are a lot stronger. At least some of them are. And when you try this on your hand, it almost makes you not want to use it because of just how strong it is. Now, just trying it on your hand is one method to get a little bit of a taste, but it only gives you a hint. Sometimes it's a whole hell of a lot different in Vapor. Well, that's especially true when it comes to this one, because I just tried this in Vapor at 1%, and it tastes phenomenal. And it's crazy, like, I'm getting... And this is only a shaken vape, so, like... This could probably steep out for a week and might even taste berry better. And what I would really love to find out is if this strawberry loses its strawberry taste after a while. Because a lot of strawberries have the problem where in time you'll lose your strawberry. So I would be kind of interested to know if this one falls a victim to the same problem since it's so concentrated or not. But again, this one tastes like a nice, sweet strawberry, but it's not like any other strawberry I've tried. It's like a clean, crisp strawberry. Not, It's not tart. It doesn't taste ripe. It tastes candied. It, it almost tastes like... It almost tastes like a candy shell. A strawberry candied shell. I don't know if that makes any sense, but like... You know how M&M's have those sugary shells? That's kind of what it tastes like in strawberry. It's hints of strawberry, but then it kind of tastes like a candy coating, almost. But the strawberries there, this would probably go good in conjunction with a lot of other strawberries. Now, the question is, is it a good standalone? I mean, I wouldn't say it's a good standalone, and here's why. I think that you you could use it as a standalone, but this seems like a strawberry that would go good with other strawberries. Strawberries are a very temperamental thing. People want this and that in their strawberries, and you can do so much when you combine multiple different strawberries. So... I wouldn't go off the edge and say that this is a single flavor, but it could be. It could be. I guess it really depends on your mixing style and you. I personally am probably not going to use this as a single strawberry flavor, but I guess, I guess you could. I guess you could. Now, would I recommend this flavor? If you are willing to pay the flavor prices for flavors and that's okay to, for you, then yes. And actually, it's not even going to be that bad because I only use this at 1%. So in a 15 milliliter bottle, only having to use 1% opposed to 5-6% on your average flavor, this is actually a really good deal. So you're only going to use a very tiny bit of it every time you use it. So is it worth it? I'm going to go with yes. I think it's a very nice strawberry flavor. I think this actually might get closer to strawberry ne uh, Nesquik. Everybody's looking for like a strawberry Nesquik flavor. And I think this strawberry will help get you there. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that would go good with. Of course, it would go good with your strawberries and cream, strawberry candies, um, strawberry fruit mixes. Anything you would use a strawberry for, you could combine this in with it. So yeah, I think it's definitely a good addition to anybody's collection. I'm going to give it a... I'm going to give it a two thumbs up. And I, I was almost hesitant to give it a one thumbs up because I was worried because it was like strong off the, off the hand. And I didn't think it was going to translate good into vapor. 
But after actually trying it mixed up and all that, it's definitely a two thumbs up. You're going to get a lot of use out of it if you know what to do with your strawberries. So I think that's about it. So guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the content. Please like and subscribe. Also, in the links down below, there has all the stuff I use in my videos. There is scales, VG, PG, stuff to make coils. Everything you need for v DIY mixing, links will be in the descriptions. Those are affiliate links, but what those do is those help the channel so I can afford to get flavors and do everything I need to do to bring excellent content to you, give you excellent flavor notes, and all that great stuff. So any help does help me, and it will go right back into the channel. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We're doing big things here at JFN Development, and I would love for you to be a part of it. And one last thing, if you're not following me on social media, I am JFM Development on Facebook and Instagram. And yeah. That about wraps it up. Thank you guys so very much for watching. You have guys have a great day. Peace. So you guys like this video. That's awesome. I have some more great videos right up here. Maybe you should click on one and check it out. Well, why are you guys still sitting here? Click on a video. There's some more stuff on making DIY e-liquid. There's perhaps another playlist or my most recent video. Check that out. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. Peace.